What is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. If you watched last week's video, you will have seen that I built this wall. Uh, a little excessive, a little crazy, but for good reason. The main reason is this winter, we're going to be transforming the E46 into kind of my vision for the car since I bought it. Um, I really don't like how boring and like ugly it is, which I understand it's just a drift car and it's gonna get beat up and doesn't really matter. But I like to have, I don't know, cool cars, nice looking cars, cars that maybe stand out a little bit. So we're doing this this winter. The wall is going to basically seal off the S15 so I don't get any overspray or anything happening to it. And then also we have like an extra three feet compared to where I normally put the plastic. So we have tons of room in here so I can just blow this thing apart, get all the parts all over the place, sand them, and then eventually, paint everything. I ordered a body kit, it's been like two weeks, still haven't heard anything, but it's kind of normal for the company that I ordered it through, so I'm assuming that's gonna be here in like a month or whatever, so the rest of the body work in the car, I think I'll be able to have done at least mostly by then, if not all of it by then. What we're gonna get into is changing this whole front end from this old style, and then I'm gonna be putting the facelift on. It's a big debate with these cars. They like the facelift or the pre-facelift. This is the pre-facelift, I don't like it. I think it looks kind of droopy and I don't know. Kind of boring. The face left looks a little more aggressive. And I finally have sourced all the parts, which is like the entire front end. So both fenders, the hood, the headlights, a little under pieces and the corner lights. So I have all that. I think they're in like okay condition. One fender has got a little bit of rust on it, but not too, too worried about rust. And yeah, overall this paint job, body job, whatever you want to call it, is not going to be like the S15. Like it's not show quality. It's not going to be the right way to do it. It's basically just going to be as cheaply and quickly as I can do it with semi-decent results. So I want it to look good, but I'm not gonna spend a ton of time and go way overboard. So like little rust like this, we're just gonna grind it. If there's holes, we're gonna just pound it and fill it. It's the wrong way to do it, but it's gonna look good for what I need it to. I mean, it's gonna get all beat up anyways. And uh, yeah, the only rust that I am gonna like eliminate is on the doors. Both front doors are rotten. I have two doors on the parts car that are actually good. So we're gonna swap those out, swap the whole front end out, and then basically just have to sand the roof, sand the trunk, fix some dings in the quarter panels, and that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know, it sounds like it's not a lot of work. So <laughs> we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna get this whole front end off the car and maybe the doors. The parts car is outside, which we just currently got like six inches of snow. So I don't think I'm gonna get into the doors today, but we're just gonna get this thing completely tore apart. Basically see what we got and then get the parts down from upstairs and start mounting the new front end. I'm not gonna paint inside the panels or anything like that, even though they're not gonna match, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm never gonna have the hood open. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna slap them on there, fix some dings, and paint the car. And it should be cool. So let's get into it. Okay, so I thought step one was take off the hood. That turns out to be false. Step one is pull the wiring out of the hood, which I've never seen on any car I've ever worked on. Of course, there is the hose for the squirters, that's normal, but this has two plugs that go into the squirters, which is the strangest things that I've ever seen. So anyways, that's done. I'm not sure how you get it back through there because it goes in this hole all the way along down here comes out this hole. So I'll probably have to fish like a piece of wire in and then pull it through, but anyways, that's done. Now I'm gonna attempt to take the hood off all by myself and uh, we'll see what happens. If it falls and breaks, nothing matters. Windshield's already smashed. Everything else is being changed and basically thrown away. So let's see how this goes. Really sure what holds these corner lights on, but. Hmm. 
I'm actually surprised for how rotten and crappy this car is. I haven't broke a bullet yet, so. All 10 mils are out, now I just got these torques. I think I wanna move things around in here a little bit. It's wider than it is deep, so it makes more sense to have the car like completely 90 degrees sideways in here. So I'm gonna put the workbench right here, and then basically I can roll the toolbox wherever I want it, but probably up against that wall or something, or wherever I'm working. I like this personally much better. There's still like two feet behind the car too. It's not right up against the wall and I have all this space now. And then on the sides, like if you're working around it, you only need like four feet. So this is more than enough. Headlights out, just gonna unhook it and then do the same thing. Undo this fender, get it off. And then I think I'm gonna go upstairs and get all of the facelift parts and basically see how it all goes. I honestly didn't really do any research when I went to do this. So I'm not sure. I think the wiring is like totally different, but as long as I can just maybe get like headlights to work or something, then I'd be happy. I probably don't even really need them, but. Okay, so I got everything down from upstairs. Um, my GoPro cut out, but it doesn't really matter. I just set the fender on there with a couple of screws just holding on there and then the headlights. So a lot of people might think it's like, no different because I honestly, before I got this E46, I did not know that there was two different types um, of front end. So basically, I don't know the exact years, but the earlier models are like the pre facelift, and then just like normal cars, they usually do a facelift halfway through like the model range or whatever. So this is the facelift front end, and basically, I would say the biggest difference on these is the corner light. So instead of how on here they're going up on the facelift non-facelift i guess i don't know like the pre-facelift the original ones they go like down they curve down and then it's flat across here so it's almost kind of reversed really um and then inside here on the headlight on the older style it's more square and kind of comes straight over like this i think this is just more aggressive and a lot better looking so obviously like these are the headlights and the corner lights that i got when i bought the front end i didn't pay much for it uh, it's all in like pretty bad shape. You can see like big fenders and then even everywhere. It's like rusty. Um, also these corner lights suck. They're like super dark. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna get some like eBay clear ones and same with these. But the color that I'm going, uh, clear markers and clear corners, obviously those corners would never look good on anything because that, that sucks. But uh, the color I wanna go with, I think clear would be the way to do it. And then I'm either gonna sand and polish these headlights or just sand and clear them when I do the car. Probably just sand and clear them. It's a lot easier, lasts a lot longer, but at least we're getting somewhere, some progress. Okay, so now we got the other hood out of the attic and just slapped it on the car. I also brought down the like M3 bumper just so we have some sort of bumper on there and we can see. And then I started messing around because this is something that I wanted to do for a really long time also on this car. Make some sort of like drift style kind of like vented hood where I'm basically gonna cut like a certain shape in it once I get that figured out and tip this down and then make the vent inside and then kind of raise the edges. Just like, I, I don't know, I had it on my S14. It was like a carbon fiber or like aftermarket thing, but I haven't really been able to find anybody that really makes a nice like E46, I don't even know what to call it, like vented drift style hood. All the E46 vented hoods are just like the M3 like GTR style where they have just giant holes and they look like that grill style on the sides. I'm not really a big fan of that. so. This I think will be kind of cool if I can do it right. As you can see, like I started off with first like a more square design, but then I kind of ended up curving it. It kind of matches the front curvature of the hood. And then same with these outer ones, they kind of go with the body lines here, which is also a huge difference between the facelift and the pre-facelift. These are just like straight and super far away from the fender edge. And then you can see these, they go way out and then they almost go up to like the corner. Um, so it's much more like swooping, I don't know, more aggressive look style. So I like this front end a lot more. Yeah, so this will probably take quite a bit of work 
you know, like I said, I'm not gonna get super serious with this car, but I think looks and like style and stuff is, is fun. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this, some more measuring and kind of figuring things out. And then I think I'm just gonna cut it. I was gonna try like a trial run on the stock hood, but the more I looked at it, the more like that's way different shape and the body lines and stuff. So what looks good on there probably won't look good on here. And then it's kind of all for nothing. So what I'm gonna do though, is because I know these motors are pretty like large in there and the hood swoops down. I wanna see exactly how close the valve cover is to the inner skin, like on the hood. And then, so basically to do that, I'm gonna take the whole like headlights and stuff back out so I can just see, cause I don't wanna do all this, cut it out and then drop it in like a few inches and then have it end up hitting the motor and then I have to trim, it would just not look good. So if I can't do it how I want, then I don't know. I'll either have to move it maybe farther ahead, I think might be okay. But if not, we'll see. I'm gonna mess around with this, uh, do some more measurements. I think it's looking pretty good though. Like it's kind of hard to imagine, especially because I have two different lines there. I'm gonna cut those off and basically leave what I think is gonna be the final design. And then uh, we'll take a look at it. Now you can kind of see the vision a little bit better because it doesn't have the other lines in there as well. It's not quite perfect still. This side is not quite as curved as that side. And I think I like that side better. So this is the hard part about making like custom stuff is you get one side, how you like it, then you have to like match exactly to the other side. It's super hard. There's only so many like measurements and templates and stuff you can make, but that's what I'm going to do probably is just trace this out on paper to like the center point and then I'll flip it over and then basically trace it on that side, probably pull that tape back up. Cause I, I really like how this side is matching and flowing with this line here. And then I like this curve here cause it kind of matches the front edge of the hood. I think what I'm gonna do is cut inside of the line here. So this whole like inch is gonna be used for the raised edge pretty much. So my plan is to just cut on that shape, bend the edge up. Obviously the front will be more than the back. And then once I tip this center part in and kind of down, then I can basically make little templates of what I'm gonna need to make out of steel. It would probably be like a little triangle wedge uh, shape to go in here. And then one around the front, which will be cut out. And then another one up the side and then weld it all together and it should be okay. I might also do a rib in the center. Sometimes that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of like winging it. I've never done this to a hood before, but I've always really wanted to. I thought about it on the S15, but those hoods are really expensive and hard to find. So. If I mess this up, it's not a huge deal. I'll just roll with it and everyone will see how terrible my ideas are, but <laughs> hopefully it'll work out and I think it'll be like, okay. I'm gonna try and make this side now match that side like perfectly. So like I said, I'm gonna just take some masking paper and lay it over perfectly half, trace it out on there, cut it, and then I'll basically flip it and then I can just trace it on that side of the hood, redo my tape and it should Theoretically, it should be the exact same then from side to side. I'll still measure it and make sure it's like at least close, but by the time it's done, you don't really need it to be perfect. It's still a drift car, it's not a show car, but it's gotta be at least semi-close. So now I've laid it over the top here and you can see I got my center marks. Well, you can't really see, I guess, but it's centered there and centered there. And now you can see how off I was, um, especially in this corner area, it's much more gradual than what I did on this side. And this is exactly what I want. So now I'll just peel that tape off and then trace this out. Then I'll put new tape down and then we can see what it's gonna look like once it's actually symmetrical. And that's the main thing. Now the tape's on there, I've stood back, I've looked at it at like every angle. Everything looks really, really good. I even went around and measured everything. Like this is like five and three quarters to the line. So is that side. The only thing that I'm not really sure about and I'm never really gonna be is how far forward this whole thing should be. Cause if it's too close to the front, I think that looks kind of goofy. And if it's too far back, it looks like it's out of place and it's just like in the middle of the hood. Um, I do plan to also like shave the emblem off. So right now, my thoughts are it looks a little bit too far forward, but once that emblem's gone and it's smooth and everything's painted and bodywork and stuff, that's gonna add like really three or four inches to the hood because you kind of just see this and it breaks it all up. So it's gonna make this look much larger. 
So I think it's actually gonna be good where it is. I really like it. I think it's, I think it's gonna work. I don't know. Now I'm just gonna tear the headlights out and get a trouble light, take a look. That way I can kind of see where my cut's gonna be and how much room I have inside. It's gonna be really crappy if it's just gonna be like right on the rad support or the valve cover. But I think that where I have it is behind the rad support and in front of the valve cover, but I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna do that now. And I guess we'll see if it's even possible. Light's dead now, of course. So you can't see anything, but it's gonna at least clear the rad cradle, which is really good news. The only thing is the valve cover is extremely close. So it's just gonna be a toss up. I'm gonna do it, see what happens. <laughs> I guess worst case, which would really be a bad case, once I get the vent, whatever, down, I'll have to either cut an area out or just make a bulge, which is gonna be kind of stupid. I don't know, I really wanna make a vented hood for it. I really wanna do it like this. I think I'm just gonna go for it, see what happens. Still pretty tight because there's a lot of structure back there and I'm hopefully not gonna cut out and then I'll just tip it down. Let's see right now how this goes. Nice. Oh, no way, that's sick. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's way more than I thought it was actually gonna get. Look at that, like right there is hitting. That's sick, dude, that's so good. Holy. Actually, this side's way lower. This side's hitting on probably the power steering reservoir. There is that inner structure still on there, so I could cut some of that out because really, it's all that's solid here, all the way around. And then this isn't that big of an area. I could take that inner structure out, gain some clearance that way, which I'm probably gonna have to do because this side is actually a lot less than this side. Like, this side's not even close, so. That's kind of crazy. I'm not really sure why nobody's done. Maybe somebody has, but I researched this for quite a while and I couldn't find anything on this style hood on E46. So I'm hyped. That's honestly really good. Like you can already see, obviously it's very small, but you can see the vision and what's happening and that's sick. So I'm just gonna take a look at it, open it up, see what's hitting. I'm pretty sure it's power steering reservoir cap and probably hitting on the inner structure. So. See if I can get that little piece out and we'll get that down. Maybe we can bend it and then start shaping this outer lip. So I just opened it all up and what it actually was was the coolant cap hitting right there. So now you can see how far that'll open. See, it's basically just like that thickness. So I think if I cut that inner structure out in that little corner, we'll gain basically exactly how much space we need. And then I'll be happy with that. And now I think right there, it's possibly hitting the valve cover. And if I wanna go more, I could cut the majority of the structure out of the front of this, with I think little to no effect on the structural integrity. Like I said, once it's welded solid and everything, it'll be not going anywhere. Uh, so I might cut all that out. That way I can actually get it nice and deep and kind of like right back, kind of behind the rad, which is like perfectly positioned. So this is sick though. I can do some cutting, some messing around, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So that worked out really well. That pretty much got us all the clearance we need. As you can see, the cap is on, and it's, you know, a little ways away from it. And also, like, in here, it's not touching. I have a big 18 mil socket in there. Um, so I can go a little bit more even. But overall, I'm really happy. This is just obviously very, very early stages because, I, like I said, I want to kind of lift these edges up to give it the actual, like, look so it doesn't look like i just cut a hole in the hood and welded it back together uh, i want it to look like kind of like a not factory obviously but an aftermarket something you would buy to just make it look finished right so i want to do that still and then obviously finish it completely but overall the look is exactly what i wanted i think it's i think it's really good honestly i'm kind of surprised at how good it looks uh it's kind of hard to tell on video and unfinished but i really like it I marked out um, basically three quarters of an inch at the front uh, because that's what I want for my little edge, I guess you'd call it. Uh, and then basically went back to zero. So it's gonna be kind of like a triangle shape, which is how they normally would be. But yeah, now I'm basically, this is gonna be super crude and not the proper way to do it, I guess, but I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers and bend uh, on all along that line till it kind of lifts up to where I want it. Basically gonna put it just like that and use it as like a clamp and start going like that. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go little by little by little or else if you just grab it and try and yank it, it's gonna basically like 
not make a very nice line. Um, it's just gonna bend the whole thing. So I'm gonna work on this quickly and hopefully it goes well. I'm not, I don't have my hopes super high. So a lot of this honestly is probably gonna be mostly body filler just to get the actual contour that I want. Like I said, it's not a show car, it's a drift car. So I don't really care about longevity as much as you know I normally would or whatever. If this comes out like really, really good and I'm super stoked about it, uh, in the end, I guess I could use it as like a, a buck for a mold and then make like a fiberglass one, which would be ideal because this is gonna be super heavy. By the time I'm done adding all the metal, welding, body working, priming, all that stuff, it's gonna be quite a bit heavier than the stock hood. And obviously fiberglass is way lighter. So I've never really done anything like that. I don't plan to do that, but it is an option and it would be something good to learn on. So who knows? I'm just gonna do this and we'll see how this goes. Now, obviously this is not perfect, but I'm pretty surprised at how well that came out. You see I have a nice sharp line down here, which like I said, it's gonna get body work, body filler. I'm gonna be basically building all this out of body filler anyways, but it's just nice to actually already start with something decent. Um, this has also added quite a bit of strength to it. It's actually like more solid now, which makes sense because you put in a bend in there. So it's obviously gonna gain a little bit of strength. But now the one cool thing is I don't have to push it down um, as far and bend this area as much because now I've basically lifted this by, this is three quarters of an inch. It's not straight like 45. So it's probably like maybe a half an inch more. So I don't have to push it all the way in like I was before to get basically like the gap that I wanted. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna call it for now and yeah, we'll pick it up later.